Hey everyone and welcome back to the Kingdom Series Micro Teachings. I am Dr. Brianna Whiteside and if you don't know, the reason why I say micro teaching is because I have an extended version of the Kingdom Series on my YouTube channel, but on this playlist that airs on Thursdays, we break down complex kingdom ideas into bite-sized lessons that you can understand that are not as difficult, right, to grapple with. And so today, we're going to study Mark 10, verse 28 through 30. Now listen, y'all, I have a personal, personal, personal dislike for the fact that we have been conditioned as believers to live less than who we were created to be. I have a personal issue with the fact that we, God's sons and daughters, we as the co-heirs have been conditioned to settle for less, conditioned to wait on our deluxe apartment in the sky in heaven, conditioned to suffer unnecessarily because we believe we were created to suffer. I have a personal problem with that. And I'm so glad that God has brought me into a deeper revelation of the kingdom and a deeper revelation of what it's supposed to be our inheritance. Because if, if I'm just going to be honest and say to myself, if that suffering gospel was the only one that I had to believe in, I would not. I, I would not willfully be a believer in Jesus Christ because it's not enough for someone to be down, hurting and in pain and you to say, oh, just wait till you go to heaven. Everything will be okay when I'm getting there. When am I going to heaven and what does that have to do my pre with my present suffering now? And I want to preface this by saying that there will be seasons of struggle. There will be seasons of pain, but your inheritance is not that. Your inheritance is the kingdom that was prepared for you um, at the foundations of the world. And one of your rights is to live in prosperity. Let's go to the text. We are going to Mark 10, verse 28 through 30. Mark 10, verse 28 through 30. And this is when Jesus is talking about the rich and the kingdom of God. And if you want to read that whole section, it starts at chapter 17. But we're going to look at 28 through 30. And I am going to read it out of the KJV because it gives me the language that I want to read it out of. And it says, Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. So let's pause there. Peter is letting you know, hey God, we, we've left everything. We have nothing left. We've left our families. We've left what we believed previously. We've left our careers. We've left everything to follow you. And let's look at what Jesus has said. He says, and Jesus says, and Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left house or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my sake, and the gospels, let's pause, let's pause, what is Jesus saying so far? There is nobody who have left all of these things for my sake, for, to follow Jesus, but not only to follow Jesus for the sake of the gospel. And what was the gospel? The good news. And what was the good news? That the kingdom is now. He told the disciples to go out and preach the good news of the kingdom. And he's about to tell you what you get as a result of that. But he's saying nothing you've left so far. Nothing you've left for my sake or the gospel's sake, which is the message of the kingdom, which is the framework through which we're looking at this scripture. He says, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time. Let's pause. Let's pause. For everybody who loves to say you're going to get it in heaven, what does this scripture tell you? He says that you're going to get it in this time, right now, in this lifetime. This one, this one, that, that's your inheritance. That is what's one of the things that is promised to you. You didn't give up nothing, anything. Let me use proper grammar because I do have three degrees. You didn't give up anything for, for Jesus' sake and the kingdom's sake that you won't be rewarded for in this lifetime. He says, but he shall receive a hundredfold, not just get it back. You're going to receive, receive a hundredfold. I'm going to let you do the math on that. Now in this time, houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution. So he's saying you're going to get double. Matter of fact, you're going to get a hundredfold. That, that's not even double. You're going to get a hundredfold. You're going to get a hundredfold of everything you gave up 
but also understand that it's going to come with persecution because people are so bound to religious ideologies and what people have said that have only constructed this hierarchy where some people get the prosperity and some people get the wealth and some people get to live their dream where the rest of everyone else is bound to the lower life that is not your inheritance and you you will have that if that's what you believe though if you believe that only a select few are chosen to live an abundant life you always bind yourself to a lesser um, degree of life. But the moment you start reading the scripture and standing on Bible, and I'm so sorry that I get so passionate about this, is just because I hate when people lie. I hate when people lie and have believed the lie and regurgitate the lie without reading what also the Bible says for themselves. And I'm never going to attack anyone. I'm attacking an ideology because it is deeply rooted in slavery. I said that and I, and I know what I'm talking about. You want to know why? Because I studied enslavement my entire career since undergrad. I studied black literature and black history. And I know some of the ideologies that have crept in or followed black folks as a result of the gospel. I understand this stuff. And so when I say some of this stuff was conditioning black folks to believe that your inheritance is only in heaven and it's also visible in the slave hymns, you mean to tell me that in 2024, we still believe in this? The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Let's go back to the text. He said, you're going you're gonna to get a hundredfold, but it's going to come with persecution because some people are basically locked into this belief that they're, they're I, I want them to be poor, broke, busted, and disgusted. They, they're going to persecute you. But just know that if you left anything for the sake of me and the kingdom, you're going to get 100 fold. And not only are you going to get it in this world, but guess where you also getting it? In the world to come, eternal life. You're not only getting it in this world, but you're getting it in the, uh, in the next world too. In the next world. I want to read it in the NIV. Not only is he saying you're going to get all of this other stuff, but in the next world, you're getting eternal life. And, and when you die, you're getting eternal life. So you get to reap all of the houses, all of the cars, all of, all of the things that make this world this world ple and a pleasant experience for you. You're going to get all of these things. And yes, people are going to persecute you. But just know that this is your legal right to have what I say you can have. Because one, you're a son or a daughter. Two, you've given it up for me. And he's already told you, in my father's house, there are many mansions. He's already told you that he is a founder of the kingdom. God has already laid out his resume saying, I own everything. So you give up something for me. Do you not think then I'm going to reward you. But not only am I going to reward you, I'm going to give you a hundredfold of everything you left, but also understand that a hundredfold of prosecution is coming too. Because the gospel is offensive. The gospel, the, the truth of the gospel is offensive to the world. It's also offensive to the believers because many believers are married to religion married to what people have said and don't even understand it has been so perverted and twisted that the, the the truth of it the truth they can't even get to the truth of it and if you can't get to the truth of it, you can't even walk in it and so many people have been conditioned to believe that god wants them to live a low life why would he what parent would do that what parent he already tells you if you who are wicked, you who are wicked could get good gifts, who, what you think I could do? He, he already said, you think you give good gifts? Watch me. But so many of us have not believed that that is our rightful inheritance, but we pray for it. We beg for it. We cry, spit, and fire for it. But you don't believe it's owed to you. You don't believe that the Bible tells you that you are an heir. You don't believe because it's going to require you to come up a little higher. That's going to require you to rise up out of some ideologies that have lied to you. That's going to allow, that's going to cause you to come out of agreement with poverty. And poverty 
has run rampant in the body of Christ for way too long. How do we hope to advance the kingdom if we can't even fund it? If we can't even be benefactors, why? Not just because we don't work hard. We don't believe that this is our rightful inheritance. We just don't believe it. And as a result, we end up in last place. Not on my watch. This scripture right here tells you, <laughs> based off the context of what Peter has said, we've given up everything. We've given up everything. And of course, as I said, this passage of scripture comes with under the subsection of uh, the rich and the kingdom. This lets us know we're talking about kingdom things. So based off Peter saying, hey, we gave up everything to follow you. We, we've done, you know, we don't have nothing else. And Jesus saying, I understand what you gave up. And as a reward for everything you gave up for me and the gospel's sake, I'm going to give you a hundredfold. <laughs> It's also come come with a hundred fold pole persecutions. However, also understand that I not only does it come with a hundred fold, it also comes with eternal life. It also comes with eternal life. And this debunks all of those myths that we are believed that all our riches are only stored up for us in heaven in an in a afterlife. When Christ said he came for you to have abundant life now, when he said that I have come for you to live abundantly now. Why, why do we believe this lie? I, I want us to put on our thinking caps. Let's put on our thinking caps and let's stand on the Bible. If we're standing on the Bible, let's stand on the whole Bible. If you don't like it, rip it out. Because the Bible is true. So for anybody, and you watchers, you viewers, if anybody tells you, other than God who says, though this your season of suffering, <laughs> all right. But if anybody else tries to come and lie to you and say, oh, just think of your deluxe apartment in the sky, shut them down. Because your rightful inheritance is to have all of the things that you need in abundance here. Heaven on earth here. Okay? So anyway, I hope you've learned something. I'm always going to be passionate and turned up about the kingdom. Because I think that this mess, this is the good news. And the more people that hear the message of the kingdom, the more people will be set free because Jesus came for us to be live a life of freedom and abundance. And then I'm going to walk in and I'm going to keep talking about it until everyone catches on. I'll see y'all soon, y'all. Let me know if you learned something, heard something new. If you, if you agree, if you disagree, put it in the chat, put it in the comments, like the video, send this to a friend, and also uh, be sure to sign up for my mailing list at BriannaWhiteside.com, okay? Also this month, we are promoting the Intentional You Bundle equipped with two eBooks, Have You Decided About You, and Intentional Focus, where we are literally tackling our minds, our minds, our thoughts, our focus, our attentions. We have to succeed. And if you need to get your mind together, I want you to grab this Intentional You Bundle. I made it with you in mind. I made it with you in mind and I to share a bit of my story and I want to see you prosper. And so go ahead and grab it at BriannaWhiteside.com. All of the links are in the show notes and I'll see you soon in another Kingdom Series micro teaching. Bye y'all.